If you've ever caught yourself thinking or saying to yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm a failure, I'm not good with money, I'm lazy or unmotivated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, congratulations, you have just caught yourself in a limiting belief, but you are not alone. And although it might really feel differently sometimes, I promise you are not stuck with them. In today's video, we will be going through a tapping sequence to help you release these limiting beliefs so you can replace them with something that you would prefer to believe instead. Hi, I'm Liz. I am a certified EFT practitioner with a background in holistic nutrition, and I help you break up with self-sabotaging behavior and limiting thought patterns through EFT tapping and nervous system regulation so you can step into your full potential. So a limiting belief is a thought pattern that is usually operating at a subconscious level, meaning that we are not consciously aware of it, at least until we start paying attention to it. And usually these thought patterns or subconscious programming are picked up in childhood, either from our family, an event or experience, or even our community and culture. They are considered limiting because they usually stop us from or at least make it harder for us to make choices or behave in a way that we know would be beneficial to us. Because these limiting thought patterns and behaviors have been with us for so long, like I said, usually picked up in childhood, it is unlikely that a single tapping session will be enough to clear the whole thing so that you never see it again. This will be something you likely have to come back to either this tapping session or work through in any other way that feels good to you once you've identified it. Um, but I do recommend getting a journal and keeping it close by for this tapping session so that if any memory or event does surface while you're tapping on your limiting belief, you can quickly make a note of it to bring it back through another tapping session at a later time. You can think of your limiting beliefs like a table and they are being supported by legs. So for the purposes of this analogy, you can kind of think of the legs as the past memories, experiences, events, the things that have happened that are kind of supporting this belief and holding it in place. Now, the good news is just like a table, you don't have to take out every single leg for the table to fall down. We can start by focusing on the limiting belief itself, but then get into the bigger, more emotionally charged, maybe memories or events that surface. And when we take those big ones out, just like taking a leg or two out, the whole table, the whole limiting belief will come crumbling down. So without any further ado, let's get to the tapping. I want you to start by taking a nice big belly breath in. Hold. And exhale. And I would like you to bring to mind the limiting belief that you would like to work on. I am going to encourage you to pick just one to start. You can always come back with another limiting belief later, but let's just focus on one for right now. Great. Now, once you have that event or sorry, that limiting belief in mind, I want you to either say it out loud to yourself or in your head. And on a scale of zero to 10, where 10 is, I 100% believe this and zero is, this is not at all true. I want you to just give that belief a number. How true does it feel to you in this moment right now? Okay, great. Now just make mental note or write that number down. And remember with tapping, we are always taking responsibility for our own health and mental well-being. If at any point this becomes too overwhelming or too emotional, you are free to stop. But if you're ready to get started, just tap where I tap and repeat after me. We're gonna start at the side of the hand. Even though I have this limiting belief and it is holding me back, I am open to seeing things differently. Even though a part of me really believes that this is true and I feel this truth in my body. Another part of me is ready and willing to let this belief go. And just again, one more time at the side of the hand, even though a part of me really believes that this is true. And it sometimes it feels impossible to change. It has been my truth for so long. I choose to love and accept myself anyway even with this belief. Great, now we're gonna move to the top of the head. This limiting belief. Eyebrow. It feels so true to me. Side of the eye. Deep down on a subconscious level, and even within my body, 
I feel the truth of this. Good. Under the eye. I'm not sure I can change it. Under the nose. It's just the way things are. Under the mouth. It's just the way I am. Collarbone. And even though I know it's not helpful, sorry, I'm trying to stay away from the microphone. <laughs> even though I know it's not helpful, does that mean it's not true? Under the arm. Because it's been true in my life so far. Wrists. Maybe I've learned this truth or this belief from my family, my community, or even my culture. Back to the top of the head. Maybe I've learned it from all of those times in my life that I failed or made a mistake or not been perfect. And all of these things clearly prove that this is true, right? Eyebrow. I am not good enough. Side of the eye. Everything I try to do, I fail at. Under the eye. Under the eye. I am lazy and unmotivated. Under the nose. I am not smart enough. under the mouth. There is never enough time or money for that matter. I am not deserving. Under the arm. These beliefs are still holding so much power over me. Wrist. But maybe they don't have to. Okay, we're going to go back to the top of the head. And for this next round, you do not have to repeat after me. I'm going to say some prompts and you can just, again, continue to follow along with where I'm tapping. You don't have to speak anything out loud, but just think about the prompts that I'm giving you. I want you to bring to mind the limiting belief you're wanting to work on. Eyebrow. Thinking this belief in your head or saying it out loud, I want you to just notice where in your body you feel the truth of this statement. Side of the eye. I would like you to describe it to yourself. Really tune into that sensation. Does it have a texture, a color, a weight? What does it feel like to you? Under the eye. Taking a deep breath into that physical sensation right now. Under the nose. And while staying tuned into that physical sensation, I would like you to just notice whatever is coming up for you right now. Maybe it's a memory, a thought, a past experience, and we're just going to make a mental note of whatever's coming up. Under the mouth. Is this belief really true? Or when has this belief been true for you in the past? There may be a lot of memories coming up, or just one, or nothing at all. There is no wrong answer here. We're just simply paying attention, not trying to force anything, just noticing. Good. Under the arm, maybe you remember a time that someone said something to you, or something happened that really made you feel that this belief was true. Just noticing that now. Wrists. I'd like you to notice if there's an emotion 
attached to this belief. Maybe you feel disappointed or sad or angry. Taking a deep breath and just noticing Again, not trying to force or change anything at this time. We're just paying attention and breathing and tapping. Great job. Moving back to the top of the head and for this section, again, you can repeat after me. What if I no longer have to carry this belief? Eyebrow. Because maybe it was just something that was taught to me as a child. side of the eye. Maybe it even came out of a real life experience, which made me believe that this was my reality and my truth. Under the eye. Maybe it really was true for me before. But does that mean it has to be true for me forever? Under the nose. Maybe it has served a purpose sorry, in my life. Maybe protecting me, keeping me safe. Under the mouth. But I can see now that it's not serving me any longer. And I am open to the idea of seeing things differently. Collarbone. Noticing any resistance that might be showing up in my body right now when I think about letting this belief go. Under the arm. Is there any reason that is coming up why I might not be willing or ready to let this belief go right now? Wrists. Just noticing these things. To the top of the head. Giving myself permission to question everything. Good. Eyebrow. Is this really true? Is this really what I believe? Is this what is true for everyone or just for me? Side of the eye. Is this belief even mine? Whose voice do I hear this in? Is it mine or is it someone else's? Under the eye. Maybe I picked it up from a parent, a teacher. Under the nose. I choose to feel empowered that at any moment I can choose to think a different thought. I can choose to believe something different. Under the mouth. That my intentional thought can create a new reality for me. And a new pattern of belief. Collarbone. That I have more power than I have ever given myself credit for to create my own reality. Under the arm. And it starts with this new belief. wrist. Acknowledging that it is safe for me to put this old belief down now. Okay, one final round. You're almost there. For this round, you're not going to repeat after me. You're simply going to go through the points with me and I'm not going to say anything, but I'd like you to think about what you would like to believe instead. And maybe we can phrase this in a word, in a way that means you already have it. I am confident. I am smart. I believe that I am successful. Okay. Moving to the eyebrow. Saying this new thought or this new belief that you'd like to install. Side of the eye. Noticing any resistance that might be coming up in your body to this new idea, this new belief. Under the eye. 
making mental note of any resistance. You can always tap on that later. under the nose. I am successful. I believe that whatever your new belief is, under the mouth, great job. Really embodying that new belief. What does that look like to you? Collarbone. If you were looking in the mirror and 100% believe this, this new belief, what does that reflection, that person looking back at you, what do they have? What do they feel? What expression is on their face? Good. Under the arm. Again, I am, or I believe, whatever it is that you want to install now. Okay, wrists. Taking a deep breath now. Okay, we can gently stop tapping. Take another deep breath if that's what feels good to you. Great job. Again, just noticing anything that came up. If you didn't have a chance to write it down while we were tapping, go through and write it down now while it's still fresh and top of mind. And you can always take these other events, these other experiences, these other memories through rounds of tapping. And we chip away at these beliefs and these thought patterns that have been ingrained for so long uh, by working on these specific events. Tapping takes advantage of something called neuroplasticity, which basically just means that the brain is plastic and it has the ability to create new patterns of thought and behavior. And isn't that an empowering thought? I guess I should say empowering piece of knowledge because you have the ability to change just because you have believed something for so long does not mean that you are stuck with it. Go through this tapping session as many times as you need. And I hope, sincerely hope that it helps. Happy tapping.